So right behind me is a one bedroom apartment here in Pensacola, but this isn't just any apartment. This is the apartment where I edited and filmed my very first YouTube videos. What's going on guys, Captain Brant here. So today I wanna to talk about reels. I was inspired to make this video because I get messages on a daily basis from kids and adults that are like, hey Brant, we'd love to do what you're doing. Can you please share your story with us? how you got started, how I ended up from living in a one bedroom apartment where I was paying $5.25 a month because that's all I could afford to what I'm doing now. And in order for me to tell that story, I have to start at the place where it all began. This is where the journey started for me. This piece of grass, the grassy area right here is a very special place for me and I'm gonna tell you why. In 2008, I was living in Milton, Florida and I had just quit my job. I had a 20 foot boat that I bought when I had the job. I did not have a charter business yet I, and I just knew that working nine to five wasn't for me. So one day I packed everything up and I went around to Pensacola to a bunch of different apartment complexes and I was like, hey, I need to keep a boat here, will you let me? And everybody turned me down except this place right here. They said, you can keep a boat right here. <laughs> and so where that white car is behind me, that's where I kept my boat and it laid right here along this grass. This is where I started my charter business. A lot of people don't know that about me. I was a very, very serious fisherman for years. <laughs> Getting on the fish, check out that first nice one we got here. And so that's why I'm not as serious a fisherman now. I'm more lighthearted. But I had to do this for a living every single day. And I remember if I, were, if I were to get a charter back then, it was a big deal because I'd make 400 bucks and 400 bucks was a huge deal to me back then. And so I remember that one morning I got up and my boat was parked here. I get here and there, it was like a Saturday morning. They were partying the night before and there was cars parked blocking my boat. And so I remember it was one of the worst feelings I ever had. This was in 2009 and right after I started my charter business and I had to call my clients and tell them I wasn't going to be able to, uh, to go that day because I didn't have a boat. And so that was my life for six years. I lived in that apartment complex, grinding it out. I could not get a house loan because we had just come off the 2008-9 crash. They were not lending to small businesses that weren't generating a ton of revenue. And as a fishing guide, you know, I was running 200, I'd built the business by 2015, you know, 14, 15, I was running 200 plus trips a year, but still as a fishing guide, that is not a ton of money after expenses and after taxes. I mean, you're doing okay, you're getting by. But more so than that, I'd spent five to six years building stability instead of chasing my dreams. You know, I've always been a very ambitious person, hence the reason I've started my own business and have always worked for myself. When I hit that 2015 mark, I was like, you know, what can I do to create a side hustle? And I tried a bunch of different things. I, I tried a lot of things that failed. I've always been the type of person to throw mud at the wall, see if it sticks, and if it sticks, hey, good, we'll roll with it. And if it doesn't, then, oh well, we'll just, uh, go to the next thing. So I failed over and over again with little businesses, little side hustles from 2000, the whole year from really from 2014 to 2016, I probably tried like 10 different things just to create uh, another stream of income or to create you know, a, a side hustle that may eventually get me out of the charter business. And it just never happened. I couldn't do it. And so there was a lot of depression for me during that 2014 to 2016 period. I, I just was like, you know, I've created stability, but I really didn't have much. I was still living in a one bedroom apartment. I wasn't married. I wasn't living my best life, let's put it that way. So one day I remember I'm walking through Best Buy one afternoon and I'm like super, like kind of depressed. I was just like wasting time walking through Best Buy. And for some reason I passed the GoPro aisle and a light bulb goes off, I'm like, why do I not have a GoPro on my boat? I literally take people fishing, one of the most beautiful places in the country on a daily basis. Why am I not filming that and putting it on the internet? At that time, I didn't even know if you could make money on the internet. I just knew that that was what I had to do. And for me to make a purchase like a GoPro back then, that was a big investment because I really didn't have a whole lot. And so for the next six months, there's like this driving force within me. It's like I have finally found the path that I'm gonna take. And I never set out to be a YouTuber. That's what people don't understand. I set out to be an internet entrepreneur. And I was like, I'm gonna learn everything there is to know about the internet. 
because I didn't even know if you could make money on YouTube at then. I had no idea. I didn't even know how to turn on a camera. I finally got enough confidence one day to take the uh, GoPro out on a charter with me, okay? I was like, that was weird because I was the only per guide that did that back then, all right? Filming wasn't a thing just five years ago. If you're walking around town with a camera five years ago, people made fun of you. <laughs> Trust me, because I was one of those dudes. I started filming my charters, started putting them on YouTube, and my clients absolutely loved them. My clients now had a place where they could go and see their trip and it was cool it was awesome and even though i wasn't making any money on youtube i still had created something that nobody else around was creating there was nobody doing video back then especially in the charter business so by 2016 i knew exactly what i wanted to do with my life and that is such an amazing thing to finally figure out like hey i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do it as best <laughs> to the best of my abilities and we're gonna see where it goes. Because even before then, when I was running the charter business, I was kind of just going through the motions. I wasn't necessarily, that wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do with my life or what I was supposed to do. It was just uh, sort of a, a stepping stone to uh, get me to the next level. And so when I figured out, hey, I'm gonna be an internet entrepreneur, I'm gonna make as many videos as I can possibly make and I'm gonna create as many streams of income as I can possibly create. That's when I started to feel better. I started to feel more energized. There was no more depression, and I was kinda of high on life. Let's, hey, let's get this done. So I started out like a rocket ship, all right? And I was humbled very quickly. From 2000, into 2015 through 2017, I learned one of the most valuable lessons that I've ever learned, and it's something that I will take with me for the rest of my life. And that is never underestimate the amount of effort that you have to put into something in order to reach your goals, reach your dreams, and make it be successful. It's hard. It doesn't come easy. And so for those two years, all the way up until 2018, I greatly struggled trying to break through. And I wanted to break through so bad that I just couldn't. But I made a ton of bad videos. My videos back then are awful. And one reason is I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't come from a film background. I didn't have a template to follow. So nowadays, there are tons of fishing YouTubers out there that you can look at the good ones and say, oh, this is how they're making videos. Let's follow that template. There wasn't in 2016, 2017. And so once again, I was just throwing a lot of mud at the wall and seeing if it would stick. Some of it did, but most of it didn't. And so for those two years, man, it was a struggle because I still had the charter business, but I was receiving a ton of I don't want to say hate, but I was like, you know, people were talking about me. I was getting made fun of. I was, I, I was getting hate because for one, my videos weren't that good. They were okay, but they weren't, they weren't that good because I didn't know yet what I was doing. I was still trying to find my way. And, and that's one thing that I can encourage each and every one of you, if you're trying to do something that don't listen to anybody else, do what you want to do, because I would have, you know, other charter boat captain see me out there and I'm the only one with a GoPro filming like an idiot back in 2016 it, when nobody did that or I was walking around town with a camera filming in front of people people thought I was crazy back then like around my area because I was literally the only person that was doing that so, but you know what I pushed through because something inside of me said Brant this is what you're supposed to do this is what you're meant to do you are going to grow big platforms you're going to create streams of income you're going to use the money you make to help people you're going to use the money you make for good and to create a better life for yourself and for your family and that's what i set out to do and there was nobody getting in my way all right and that's how i feel to this day i remember in 2016 i got my first check from youtube it was a 250 dollars check youtube didn't pay a lot back then they paid a lower cpm so uh, creators did not make near as much money as they do now and so I get this $250 check and I'm stoked, man. That was the first piece of internet money that I've ever made. When you get that first check, it gives you inspiration that you can do this. And so I remember in 2016, I made like an extra $3,000 on the internet. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot. It's obviously not enough to quit your job. It's not a bunch of money, but hey, if somebody was like, hey, I'll give you a $3,000 raise, that ain't bad. And in 2017, I made about the same. My videos in 2017 were really bad. And so once again, at the end of that 2017 mark, I felt that uh, discouragement 
again, almost a depression again, because I thought from 2015 to 2017, I was just gonna shoot to the moon because I figured out what I wanted to do. And that wasn't the case. Instead of folding, instead of quitting, which I easily could have done, I said, I'm not putting the amount of effort into this that it's gonna take for me to reach my goal. And so I cut my charter bookings in half. I went from running 200 charters to running 100 charters. So I went on a leap of faith. So in 2018, I ventured out into the unknown. I put a lot of effort into my YouTube channel. It's semi paid off. At the end of 2018, I had made, generated 20, I think $2,000 in revenue. I'm like, okay, combined with my charter, we're, we're stable, like we're stable. All right, and I was working on my real estate license at that point too, because I had this plan all along that I was gonna grow this big platform, I was gonna sell real estate from it, I was gonna create businesses from it, and those were just gonna be all parts of the streams of income that I'm creating. And so um, I did eventually get my real estate license, and moving into 2019, I was kind of motivated again, because I'm like, you know, I made 20 something thousand last year on YouTube, and at this point, I saw something that a ton of creators are missing. And I'm like, why are they not doing this? And I started going hardcore on Facebook because Facebook, I had just heard, started letting people monetize. And so I went hardcore on Facebook at the end of 2018 to 19. And by 2019, I was monetized on Facebook. And I was generating, so there's another stream of income. And so I'm like, all right, we're going into 2019 and we're equipped to have a great year. All right, we have real estate license, Facebook monetization, YouTube, and I'd picked up a sponsor, which was Mystery Tackle. And so I'm like, man, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm ready for 2019. And in 2019, I generated, I want to say like $40,000 on Facebook. I generated 40,000 on YouTube, right around. It was about equal. I still ran a few charters, so I had that money coming in and I sold some houses uh, uh, so i had a real estate money coming in and i bought rental properties that year with the money that i'm making real estate prices were a little lower and so i had that money coming in so now i'm like man I've re i'm really on to something here i'm like creating multiple streams of income my life is improving and i'm having a heck of a good time doing it it was crazy how it all happened i still at this point in time only had 50,000 subscribers, something like that. And so there's something called the compound effect. The compound effect is when you do something over and over and over again, pretty soon it compounds and then you reach a tipping point. And it's either a good tipping point or a bad tipping point. And what I mean by that is if you ate one bowl of ice cream every single night at the end of the year, you're gonna eat over 300 bowls of ice cream a year, which that's a lot of ice cream. But if you only eat one bowl a week at the end of the year you're at 50 something bowls of ice cream that's not nearly as harmful you're not compounding and so the person that eats ice cream every day at the end of that year they may get diabetes the person that eats one bowl a week they didn't compound enough to get diabetes so they're in a little better shape the same thing goes with these videos i was so persistent i never stopped I knew this was what I wanted to do. Over time, my videos compounded and compounded and compounded. And then we get to 2020. And in 2020, I go from being able to generate 130, $115,000, $130,000 a year with everything that I'm doing to being able to generate a quarter million. That is because it's all now compounding. Everything that I'm doing is compounding and i was able to quit my charter business i walked away i actually lease my charter business out now which is another stream of income that i have that is passive and i'm telling you guys all this to motivate to inspire youtube a viable profession can you be an internet video creator for a living can you be a digital entrepreneur for a living you can but just know what it takes all right this was not built overnight this was like, there was no silver spoon. Nobody handed me anything that I have. I worked like crazy to get to this point. And I am finally now reaping the benefits of it. 2021 was the greatest revenue year of my life. I didn't even sell much real estate 
in 2021 because I focused so much on uh, YouTube and Facebook and you know creating streams of income through the internet. And so what's next for me? I, I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep compounding and I'm gonna keep, I, you know, one thing, and I think this is one of my greatest talents per, is persistence and I've learned that not not to give up and, and not stop when it's hard and there's plenty of people out there that are more talented as far as just you know whether they're you know more entertaining or a better uh editor or you know smarter than me there's plenty of people out there that have that but one thing that I, i'm never going to do and i encourage each and every one of you is, is to never stop if somebody were to ask brant what are you best at in business it's persistence it's not quitting and it's moving forward and it's trying a whole bunch of different things and weeding out things that don't work and putting things in place that do and so i hope today this inspired somebody to you know start their own journey no matter what it is you don't have to be a digital entrepreneur you don't have to be a youtuber or an internet video creator be whatever you want to be an athlete whatever you want to be but whatever that is I encourage you not to est underestimate what it takes to to get to that point because you know i i started in a one bedroom apartment that i was renting for 525 a month and i am just now 10 years later 11 years later i am just now reaping the rewards for all the effort that i put in and the, the persistence that i gave to to this journey and so you know, I just wanted to come on here and share my story today. I appreciate everybody that's watching. Please shoot me a big thumbs up if you like it. We're going to head uh, tomorrow to a Bridge Monster video. And so y'all be looking for that this weekend.